Thank you for joining us today. We are about to start today's webinar on significance of indigenous quality stock for plant tissue culture industry and enhancing incomes of farmers. This session will also be streamed on uh, streamed live on YouTube. Link will be shared shortly in the chat below. I would like to highlight that we're extremely fortunate to have with us Dr. Tilochan Mahabatra, Secretary, Department of Agricultural Research and Education, and Director General, Indian Council of Agricultural Research. Also, Dr. Naveen Kumar Patle, Additional Commissioner of Horticulture, Ministry of Agriculture. Dr. K. Gurumurthy, former Director, Institute of Forest Genetics and Tree Breeding, Pambatar. Dr. Vidya Gupta, former Chief Scientist and CSIR National Chemical uh, Laboratory, Pune, and other experts. So to kindly begin with the program, I request Dr. Purnima Sharma, Managing Director of Biotech Consortium India Limited, New Delhi, to kindly deliver the welcome address. Over to you, ma'am. Thank you, Rupur. Dr. T. Mo Patna, Secretary, Department of Agriculture Research and Education, and Director General of the Indian Council of Agriculture Research, Government of India. Dr. Naveen Kumar Patle, Additional Commissioner of Horticulture of the Ministry of Agriculture and Farmers Welfare, Government of India. Dr. K. Gurumurthy, uh, former director uh, the, from the Institute of Forest Genomics and Tree Breeding, Coimbatore, and chairperson of uh, the advisory board of BCIL's Quality Stock Culture Initiative. Dr. Vidya Gupta, former chief scientist, NCL Pune, and who's the co chairman of the BCIL's Advisory, uh, the Advisory Committee of BCIL's Quality Stock Culture Initiative, my colleagues from BCIL, and distinguished participants. It gives me great pleasure to welcome you all to this webinar on significance of indigenous quality stock culture for agriculture industry and for enhancing farmers' income. So as you all are kindly aware, BCIL, Biotech Consortium India Limited, is an organization established in the year 1990 as an initiative of the Department of Biotechnology Government of India and the All India Financial Institutions for facilitating commercialization of biotechnology by providing value-added business support services, including consultancy, technology transfer, uh, regulatory support services, project management, etc., in various biotechnology thrust areas. Plant tissue culture is one of our major thrust areas. And we have, over the years, accumulated vast experience and expertise in this area. Plant tissue culture technology, as we all know, has played a pivotal role in revolutionizing uh, the growth of agriculture worldwide and offers tremendous opportunities for industry as well as farmers, thereby contributing to overall economic development of the country. This is obvious looking at the way uh, the productivity levels uh, of uh, has enhanced in the country, especially in the case of banana production, which is now uh, contributing immensely to the food security and also for employment generation. This success story can be replicated for other crops as well. However, one of the major limitations is uh, th that the plant tissue culture industries are facing is sourcing of quality stock cultures. Now, production of uh, quality stock cultures is a tedious, skill-oriented, and time-consuming activity with low levels of survival. Procuring these cultures from unorganized sources is, again, not a safe proposition and they, because there's no reliability of the quality or the genetic similarity uh, with the parent plant and also freedom for diseases which leads to uh, contamination and wiping away of the entire production, leading to huge losses. Now, importing of the stock cultures is an expensive proposition, and it's also very cumbersome because there are a lot of procedural formalities. So keeping all this in view, BCL has now taken up the initiative to produce cost-effective and high-quality stock cultures, thus providing an economical, alternative to the imported high cost unreliable cultures uh, in line with the Make in India initiative of our Honorable Prime Minister. So today's webinar is an effort to create awareness about this quality stock culture activity being initiated by BCIL for the benefit of plant tissue culture industry and the farmers. We are extremely privileged to have with us Dr. P. Mohapatra, Secretary Department of Agri Agriculture Research and Education and the DG ICAR, Government of India, who had kindly agreed to launch this Quality Tissue Culture Initiative 
uh, this quality talk uh, uh, culture initiative and also to present the inaugural address. Dr. T. Po Patra, who we all know has extensive experience and expertise in the area of agriculture with specialization in molecular genetics and genomics and is presently responsible for setting and implementing the agriculture growth agenda for the country. His research accomplishments include development of first high yielding basmati rice variety resistant to bacterial leaf fly through molecular marker assisted selection. He's also an esteemed fellow of the Indian National Science Academy, National Academy of Sciences of India, and also the National Academy of Agriculture Sciences. He has been conferred with various honors and awards in recognition of his excellent academic and research contributions. Sir, I extend you a very, very hearty welcome on behalf of all of us. I extend a gracious welcome to Dr. Naveen Kumar Patle, Additional Commissioner of Horticulture, Ministry of Agriculture and Farmers Welfare, Government of India. Dr. Patle is also handling additional charge as the Director of the Central Institute of Horticulture, Nagaland, and the Executive Director of the National Bee Board. Dr. Patle has more than 20 years of experience in agroforestry and horticulture research uh, in farming, farm and plantation management, clonal forestry, and capacity building. Dr. Patle has published over 18 research papers in national and international journals, two books, and 30 book chapters, and is also the recipient of the Best Krishi Vigyan Kendra Award by ICAR. We are happy to have with us Dr. K. Gurumurthy, former director, uh, Institute of Forest Genomics and Tree Breeding from Coimbatore. Dr. Guru Murthy has served many high level task forces and committees in the Department of Biotechnologies and other ministries on, which are dedicated on promoting agriculture research and commercialization in his capacity as chairpersons of these committees. And he has extensive experience and expertise in the area of commercial plant tissue culture. I extend to him a warm welcome. Dr. Vidya Gupta, former chief scientist, National Chemical Laboratory, Pune, is a reputed scientist and has to her credit many research publications and patents in the field of plant biotechnology, particularly in the area of host pathogen and host pest interactions, molecular markers, quagro, economic traits, and agricultural biotechnology. Dr. Gupta has been awarded the CSR Award of, uh, for Science and Technology Innovations for Rural Development in the year 2007. I extend to her a sincere welcome. I also welcome my colleagues, Dr. Vibha Abuja, Chief General Manager, Dr. Shivkan Shukla, Deputy General Manager, Ms. Nupur Chaudhary, and other colleagues. We, we are heartened by excellent uh, response from tissue culture industry, academia, research scholars, both nationally and internationally. We accord a wholehearted welcome to all the participants. Last but not the least, once again, I extend a warm welcome to one and all. Thank you very much. Thanks. Over to you, Nupur. Thank you so much, ma'am, for a delightful address. I now request Dr. Shivkan Shukla, Deputy General Manager, BCIL, to give a presentation on the current status of shock culture. Over to you, sir. Thank you, Nupur. Is it, my, is it visible? The slides are visible? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. So, first of all, we are really grateful to DGICR for kindly accepting this invitation. And I remember our earlier days of association when we uh, traveled together with Dr. Vijay Gupta, Dr. Gurubhurti, and Dr. Mahapatra quite extensively across the country. So, because time is constant, so I don't want to share that experience. But that is quite enriching experience. And here I will just to share the brief about the quality stock culture, why this initiative is being taken by PCIL. And uh, again, I won't take much time because all the technicality is known by industry, academia. They know all what is stock culture, why it is relevant. Just I will set the base for further discussion. And since our DG sir is highly busy and the preoccupied, so our audience would like to listen to him more. So briefly, I'll just cover about the quality stock culture. So as you know, BCIL has completed journey of more than three decades. It has been created by the Institute of Department of Biotechnology. Government of India it has played a key role 
for commercializing biotechnology and particularly uh, the plant is culture which has witnessed a great journey in the last three decades just like the biotech consortium india limited so uh, as you know that there are more than 200 companies in india and the turnover gross turnover is on growth annually and there are many company uh, small companies for 0.5 million to up to 70 million we have many plant species well commercialized like apple banana sugarcane potato and many more and the new plant species that are coming up and as you know for producing quality planting material the initial input is very very important now with bcil is actively involved in capacity development of stakeholder entrepreneur and we played key role for setting up certification certification program in the country for the last 15 years from 2006 to 2021. So with this association, we witnessed success of this culture and it has been documented well in terms of the success story published by APARI, international body, like Banana Tis Culture, Apple Tis Culture recently and co-authored by... Uh, oh. Now with this thing, uh, we had a detailed interaction that what PCL can do for the Tis Culture industry as a continued journey and in September 9, 2021, we had a detailed interaction with participation of more than 300 uh, delegates, but mainly the industry stakeholder. And then it was concluded that VCL should take some initiative to support industry in a big way and decided that there could be many ways like quality stock culture, skill development, providing some kind of traceability application and uh, information dissemination all those aspects that has been covered. And quality stock culture, that was the key area for promoting plant culture, so that has been taken up. Now you know that uh, quality stock culture is highly crucial for producing the quality plant, not only quality plant, but also for the sustained tissue culture operation. And other than the production stock culture of the promising variety, there are many more local variety, uh, were all eminent expert, Mahapatra sir, and all the stakeholders, they know that there are many more variety in the country, like red banana, rastali, they have need to promote those variety in a big way. And for that, the industry face constraint to get the immediate quality stock material. So BCL would, would make up an effort to produce such kind of uh, elite quality planting stock culture. And to start with, we are doing with the grand name, just to test this concept, how this is working. So presently, as you are aware that companies are very establishing and they're importing, there's two ways to get the store, stock material. And when they're importing, the, all the four known viruses sometimes is not being tested. Phytosanitary is big trouble. And getting from the, as Dr. Purnima I am told, and BCL, that getting from unauthorized source, it's created again trouble for the industry. So to address those constraints, BCL is making effort to make, produce the quality planting material. Now, when you go for establishment, high contamination is a problem, availability of the stock, elite material is a problem, and sometimes industry gets sudden demand, but they, at the same time, we don't have the backup culture. And if you have the such repository, then they can get the starting material immediately for the mass multiplication. So this will add, this will address those constraints. And BCIL has been making sincere effort to support industry for a long, long time, and we will continue our journey if are to support industry in a big way because industry needs lots of support. It is a vulnerable industry. It's a labor intensive. All the perishable materials are being produced. So how to support that? There's many ways to support and we shall be our expert panel, expert poll, definitely will, will support industry with all our experiences. Now, this stock culture, superior clone will be identified. Virus index material with the passport data will be provided. So this will save time and energy. Now selection of mother plant is, you will be happy to know that Dr. B.B. Singh is an eminent expert in banana tree culture. He has joined us to select the elite mother plant. And already we have started selection and we have started establishing the starting material. SOP is well defined. And now again, the standard operating procedure is guided by our eminent expert shared by Dr. K. Guru Murthy, who is shared by Dr. Vitya Gupta, Dr. K. T. Rangaswamy is another expert, who is a known virologist, and Dr. V. P. Singh, along with Dr. Punava Sarma, MDBCIL. Now the impact it will create, it will produce 
provide the reliable source within the country. This will be the economical alternative to the imports, less than three times costly what we are getting from the import material, imported material. Quality with service, that is very important. Quality, it means the virus free elite superior plant is there. But services, it has to be the sync with the existing certification program so that whatever material is being provided, it can go for the certification later date without any constraint. Addressing the market fluctuation, promoting the local variety, and it will reduce the dependency of import and which will promote the make in India. So with this thing, I will close uh, myself with this, 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 this point. And I thank you very much once again to all the dignitary and the participants. So we'd like to happy to listen to our uh, guest today. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir, for your informative presentation. It was quite enlightening. I now request Dr. K. Gurumuthi, former director of Institute of Forest Genetics and Tree Breeding, Coimbatore and chairperson of BCIL Quality Stock Culture Initiative to kindly enlighten us with significance of quality stock culture. Over to you, sir. Thank you very much. <clears throat> Am I audible to everybody? Yes, sir. Okay. First no, of can all... I inter Sorry, sir, I'm just intervening. Uh, as per the program structure, yes. and since uh, Deji sir has kind of uh, yes. and uh, he has to rush somewhere, so can we yes, request him first? Then we'll listen to Dr. Gurumurthy and Dr. Yes. Shukla, let, let Dr. Gurumurthy go ahead, no problem. Okay, sir, great, sir. Thank you so much, <laughs> so kind of you. Yeah. yeah Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. I'm indeed grateful to Professor Dr. Mohapatra, who, despite his exalted position, attend, attending this, uh, this uh, webinar with great humility, that shows that the importance of quality in plants he appreciates. This is an interesting, uh, very interesting uh, participation from uh, Dr. Mahapatra. I'm grateful to him, grateful to other people as well for joining in this. Mother plants are mother tissue culture. Sir, again, I will take liberty to intervene. Sorry for that. I can take the liberty with you. Now, Dr. Navin Patle has joined additional uh, commissioner of horticulture. We welcome you, sir, on board. Thank you for joining. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Please go ahead. Oh, oh good. Shall I continue? Yes, sir. Please, sir. So, OK. Quality plant, quality mother plant. These are two issues. Mother is internationally very famous and very important, very, very important, extremely important, whether it is plant or animal or anything. Selecting quality plants for mother culture is something great that the BCIL is doing. And they are doing, a, already they have done a great job for the farmers of this country. I remember about 15, 20 years back, we had about hundreds of legal cases in the country with regard to tissue culture raised plants, particularly banana. After BCL took over providing uh, quality planting material and uh, also helping all the farmers and the commercial tissue culture laboratory how to go about it, their particularly their standard operating procedure document is internationally known very well. And it is made in such a way any member who joins can easily evaluate the quality of infrastructure, human resource, and the product. This was the most interesting that uh, thing. In fact, I have learned a long things, many things on the way working with BCL. This is some, and I also am grateful to Dr. Um, Shukla for having provided me the opportunity to be a member of the accreditation committee to help develop the farmer. It was an enjoyable ride all along. Now, coming back to the um, quality planting stock, quality planting stock means quality for improving the quality in terms of yield as well as income. 
And I'm sure this, all these procedures are going to be very helpful to the farmers in providing quality planting material and as a starter material. And I hope this program, I wish this program a very good success. I mean, not only wish, I'm of the opinion it will be fully successful. I don't have much to add. I would like to be associated with this program for, uh, so that I'll be in a position to learn more, particularly from farmers and the uh, BCIL strategies. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. That's all Thank I have to say. Thank you, sir, for your illuminating presentation. I uh, We have been uh, highlighted about the presentation and that was really good. I now request Dr. Shivkan Shukla, BGM BCIL, to invite our honorable chief guest. Over to you, sir. Thank you, Nupur. Hey, sir. ये ये क्या नाम है डॉक्टर पाटले बताना चाहेंगे डॉक्टर विद्या बताना चाहेंगे आई विल लीव एग्जैक्टली एट थ्री थर्टी सो आई बिलीव बिफोर दैट वी कैन फिनिश वन और टू यस सर नाउ देन वी हैव प्लेंटी ऑफ टाइम सो वी कैन गो फॉर द सेड्यूल सो नुपुर आई रिक्वेस्ट यू टू इनवाइट डॉक्टर पाटले एडमिनिस्टर कमिश्नर देन डॉक्टर विद्या गुप्ता देन आवर चीफ गेस्ट Okay, sir. As you say, so uh, uh, thank you, sir. Uh, I would now request Dr. Naveen Kumar Patle, Additional Commissioner of Horticulture, Ministry of Agriculture, to give us the special address on necessity of indigenous banana stock culture for tissue culture industry. Over to you, sir. Over to you, Dr. Patle. Dr. Patle, am I audible? So I think there is some problem. Hey, there is some problem. Go ahead with it, Dr. Vidya. Yeah, Dr. Vidya, ma'am, can continue. Okay, I'm so sorry, Vidya, ma'am. This is uh, uh, I would like to request you yourself, Dr. Vidya Kumar, Dr. Vidya Gupta, former chief scientist of CSIR National Chemical Laboratory. Pune and co-chairperson BCIL Quality Stock Culture Initiative to share her expert views on the subject. Over to you, Madam. Uh, Professor Mohpatra, PG ICR, uh, Dr. Patle, Additional Commissioner, Agriculture Commissioner, um, Dr. Guru Murthy, Dr. Purnima Sharma, Dr. Shivkan Shukla, and all the members of um, BCIL as well as the participants. Uh, good afternoon to everyone. Um, I am extremely happy to be here today, part of this program. Uh, in fact, I would say a celebration of uh, launching this activity of mother stock cultures um, to the uh, tissue culture industry. Um, if we really look at the last two decades, um, this has been a golden period for agriculture, in my opinion. Uh, there have been plenty of developments in agriculture. Um, if we look at digitization, the artificial intelligence, or uh, uh, various instruments, all these have added to the agricultural growth in country. And as we all know, we take really long time to see the fruits of development in agriculture, especially. This year, we are in a position of exporting the grains to other countries rather than importing them. So all this slowly has added to the development and growth of agriculture sector in our country. And one important area in agriculture, I would say, mostly the commercial uh, uh, side of the agriculture is the tissue culture industry. As Dr. Uh, Shukla mentioned, there has been a, a great growth in tissue culture, especially the fruit crops like uh, banana, pomegranate, and so on, uh, industry in the country. 
um and in that also mostly 70% of our industry presently at least in india is focused on uh, banana and that too on grand nine but there has been demand from farmers and consumers for other local varieties also now for the medium level industries as well as small scale industries that we have been visiting in the last 15 years uh, we all noticed that many of these small scale industries and medium scale industries they face problem in getting quality planting material uh most of them use grand nine but some of them use other varieties also and for getting grand nine original from israel or collecting it from the uh, uh field mm -hmm. around, okay, right. there right. ha there have been uh, many issues associated with the uh, quality of the uh, mother cultures so the effort initiated by bcil in providing this uh, quality planting material to the industry is an extremely appropriate uh, step taken by bcil to uplift the industry tissue culture industry so really um, i think the effort is at the right time at the apt time and um, if we look at the experience of bcl especially dr shukla and the team in uh, tissue culture banana tissue culture as well as other crops um, the way he has brought in innovations um, in the uh, uh, ncs tcp activities as such because i have seen right from writing the report to uh, developing the holograms uh, dr shukla has taken lot of efforts in bringing in all these developments so i think uh, with his initiative innovative initiative uh, this activity will go much further and the indian industry as well as the farmers would get good quality uh, planting material banana is just one in the beginning i think but they will also have other banana varieties as well as other crop uh, cultures initiated with them which will be uh, provided to the industry so i uh, wish them all the best and all the success in their endeavor and um, i also um wish bcil takes more, many more activities like uh, developing the softwares and have training programs for industry as well as the farmers uh, under this uh, particular activity thank you very much thank you so much ma'am for your words uh dr shukla if it's okay sir can we now have Uh, our session with our honorable chief guest <coughs> yeah actually dr patle is uh, suddenly she is preoccupied and she is she's saying that he will join in 5 10 minutes so i think we can uh, have the pleasure of uh, inviting okay dr mahapatra sir uh, so okay thank you very much uh, 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 let me just uh, so, so thank you, you. Very Thank you very much. So I'll... it's my great privilege and the pleasure to invite our honourable chief guest, Dr. T. Mohapatra, Secretary, Department of Agriculture, Research and Education, there, and the DG, Indian Council of Agriculture Research, to kindly launch the Stock Culture Initiative of uh, B B C I. Okay, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, Dr. Uh, sir. Uh, with your kind. Uh, Presidents, I would like to request kindly launch this initiative. Obviously, of just virtually clicking this uh, tab. Yes. Thank you so much, sir. Okay. It's a great moment for plant yeah, okay. the industry and the entire <laughs> stakeholder. This will help industry and ultimately farmers of the country. to enhance their income by getting the quality planting material 
May now request you to kindly deliver the yeah, so, welcome so number. The, so with your kind permission, I will say this is a special day for BCIL. Uh, not because, not only because you launched uh, the Quality Stockage Initiative, also on a special day for you also, because for all <laughs> our participants, it is uh, Dr. Team Hotra, Patra's uh, birthday also. So thank you very much. <laughs> So thank you, welcome. thank you very much. Very, many happy returns, sir. Many happy returns, sir. sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. We have today participants from more than twenty countries, sir. And they're witnessing. Oh, I see. And all I see. Wishes are with you. Okay. Thank you. So, uh, good afternoon, everybody. Let me uh, go ahead uh, because of the limitation of time. Another 20, 25 minutes are left, so I'll take it in twenty minutes. Uh, Dr. K. Gurumurthy, former director of IFGTB Coimbatore and chairperson of Quality Stock Culture Initiative. Dr. Vidya Gupta, former chief scientist, essential head of the uh, bioscience uh, division, uh, and also co chair of Quality Stock uh, Culture Program and Initiative. Dr. Purnima Sharma, Managing Director, Biotech Consortium India Limited. Uh, uh, Dr. Navin Patle, Dr. Shukla, Dr. Biba Auja, I'm told she's also linked to the program. And there are, uh, as it was said, uh, delegates from many countries, uh, including from India, are. Uh, a link to the program. So on my own personal behalf, on behalf of Indian Council of Agriculture Research and Department of Agriculture Research and Education, I extend a very hearty welcome to each one of you. And uh, at this uh, moment, let me congratulate BCIL uh, for quality stock culture program. This initiative is a very, very important initiative. So hearty congratulations for that. And also congratulations for organizing this webinar on significance of indigenous culture. Um, this is a relevant uh, for industry, for farmers and for the country as a whole. So it's very timely. Uh, very uh, kind of, uh, I would say, uh, desirable initiative. Uh, everyone needs, not that we need today, we need today more than ever before. And certainly we continue needing this uh, in years to come. I say so because India has been doing exceedingly well in the arena of agricultural production. And you know how we are able to feed 1.3 billion plus. Now people estimate says 1.4 billion plus population. Uh, not only that, providing free ration to more than 80 crore people for months together during COVID. And it reveals our efforts with regard to equity and uh, serving those who do not have adequate purchasing power. We used to talk about it, but today we have acted on this, implemented very successfully, which is globally recognized and acclaimed and how India takes care of equity and equality uh, 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 in a massive scale. Uh, many countries of the world would not have even a population of this size, uh, who, uh, which is actually fed with a free food for months together. Not only that, India is able to export and uh, export last year was about 41 billion US dollar, which was 19 billion 
more than what we actually imported with regard to agriculture related products. And this year, we have crossed 50 billion US dollar. And the reason is known there is war, there are uh, needs, and uh, there is also climatic disturbances. So all that contributing to uh, India uh, enhancing very significantly its export. Uh, when I say that we have been able to increase our export, it's uh, 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 impossible uh, if there is no sufficient production. So without production, without meeting our own needs, we can't export. So this certainly tells us that India has been able to produce enough, has been able to keep in stock sufficient quantity to meet the global requirements at the time of needs. And this time is best exemplified. Uh, and that is how we have been able to keep pace with the global demands. So enhancing production and production of quality material, because the global population consumers in particular are conscious of the quality, safety, and all that associated with the food. So if they are not safe, if sufficient quality is not really maintained, obviously the global demand would not be there and the exports get canceled or rejected when even they reach the foreign soils, they are returned back. So keeping that in mind, so obviously we have to continue our efforts to produce quality, high quality rather, and safe food to be consumed by quality conscious consumers globally. Not to forget that own country, India, also requires increasingly quality and safe food. Gone are those days that nobody would question what is, is being uh, sold in the market. We have to have again, quality produce, safe food available to the consumers and which is a very, very big size of the population and who keep asking this question while they are lifting a product from the stores. So this is uh, another aspect. And all these have, have, have happened not without the technology. So technology has gone to the field, large scale, and the process contributing to this revolution. We say that food grain production more than six times as compared to 1950-51, more than 600% increase. That is more than 6.5 uh, times increase. So, and in the process, we are able to feed ourselves and then exporting. And projection for uh, this 22-23 is that we should be able to reach 328 million tons. And that is quite huge. And we then, then only would be able to meet the uh, you know, needs uh, at the in the global market. Uh, so this growth more than 3.5% despite COVID, more than 3.5% growth despite COVID is quite significant. You don't find that in the international level, many countries growing at that level, uh, you know, at that rate uh, year after year and despite the COVID uh, problems. So, uh, so this is something which is uh, very, very significant. If you take an example that uh, in case of uh, sugar and sugar six years ago, uh, 14, 13, 14 data, if you see, we're producing about 25, uh, you know, 23 to 26 uh, million tons of sugar. 
And some years we were able to export if this is one, two million extra and uh, some years we, we have import. So quite a bit of instability there. There comes introduction of the new variety CO238 and with 20 tons more sugar, uh, more cane yield per hectare and sugar recovery more than 2% uh, uh, over and above what was happening, particularly in Uttar Pradesh, the, the, uh, the state having largest area and slowly replacing the old variety, now more than 90, 95% area with this variety and in the process, what happened? Our sugar production increased by six to seven million tons, reaching 33, 34 last year, 34 million tons. And this year, again, it is expected that it would cross 35 million tons. And while the Maharashtra gives a stabilizing factor around you know, uh, uh, 11, 12 million tons, uh, and then uh, you know, UP sugar production increased. So the technology is a disruptive technology giving 20 tons of more sugar cane yield and 2% more sugar recovery, you know, uh, going up to even 12%, 13% in UP conditions. And uh, in the process of enhancing sugar and decision to divert sugar cane juice for bioethanol production. Because of this, because we do not know, I mean, so much of sugar you can't store as you store grains and then for unlimited time. And obviously, you know, you have to have market in the global uh, arena to export. And you have to be also competitive with regard to price. There are several factors, but then the disruptive technology in the form of a variety and other management practices bringing this revolution. And so also pulses revolution of uh, having 9 million tons extra production, six to eight to 9 million tons in fact. And uh, import, uh, you know, reducing by about 50, 55 percent. This is something very, very significant in recent times during past five, six years. And uh, you know, pomegranate revolution, the form of, uh, you know, export in the form of production and enhancing farmers' income. That's what is the objective. How do we actually increase the farmers' income? Honorable Prime Minister's call that we have to double the income. And we are now documenting farmers' income doubling during the past five, six years. Pomegranate granite farmer who got uh, Padma Sri Award from Gujarat, uh, you know, uh, he claims that from uh, you know uh, one uh, uh, hectare of land he gets uh, more than five lakhs, uh, you know, uh, made profit, uh, and uh, he has uh, you know uh, a large uh, farm size of his own and also hires uh, you know, on lease basis and he is exporting. So, so uh, having so much of return and profit per, per, per hectare per year is quite significant uh, with pomegranate. So, so the variety Bhagwa, uh, which we uh, University, Rowdy Agriculture University and ICR developed and uh, other variety Ganesha uh, and Ganesh Bhagwa both uh, you know, revolutionizing sugar cane, uh, sorry, pomegranate production in this country. So technology going to the field and in the process uh, you know, having this impact at the field level and increasing farmers' income. But this is not just in terms of, uh, of uh, seed and the plant uh, and uh, you know planting material, but quality planting material going to the field and uh, horticulture production going beyond 330 million tons. 330 million tons, more than 200 billion. Uh, you know, uh, 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 more than, uh, you know, uh, maybe 10,000 crore rupees rather, uh, you know, export uh, by way of horticulture produce. So it is, it is quite a bit of development during, uh, you know, past uh, one, one decade particularly, and quite significant. And obviously technology plays uh, a significant role is the driver. Uh, I think uh, Biotech Consortium, uh, you know, has been uh, involved uh, in a very, very important aspect that is with the plant tissue culture and tissue culture for quality planting uh, material. Because horticultural production in particular, uh, you know, depends heavily on quality planting material. And uh, certification of uh, uh, this quality planting material production 
it was nothing in fact the department of biotechnology and uh, you know initiating this and giving the responsibility to bcil to carry out this and simultaneously virus indexing uh, to know if it is a virus free material plant the, the the mother stock as well as the propagated ones uh, so both so tissue culture production large scale micro uh, you know um, multiplication and quality planting material uh, you know ensured by way of virus indexing both and also the uh, genetic fidelity uh, through testing of uh, you know various using various techniques uh, particularly uh, you know dna markers various types which are used so all these uh, you know uh, bringing a kind of revolution in banana tissue culture to start with i think uh, the number of laboratories i mean uh, private uh, you know laboratories which are involved uh, in banana tissue culture uh, uh, and sugarcane tissue culture and some of them now apple tissue culture particularly the rootstock uh, uh, micropropagation and uh, you know pomegranate now uh, you know uh, large scale so these are beautiful examples of enabling uh, the public system and the private uh, system to provide sufficient quality planting material uh, to the country uh, so that the horticultural re revolution what we call as a rainbow revolution uh, is enabled uh, and uh, the country is empowered we are able to provide sufficient uh, fruits uh, and of course uh, the other horticultural produce to the uh, to the consumers uh, and we are able to export uh, i have been part of this program and dr shukla was referring to we used to go in fact to dr gurumurthy and myself we are part of the team and uh, dr uh, vidya gupta of course i could not uh, you know go together with vidya gupta maybe once i remember uh, so uh, but uh, you know uh, we were there in the team to go to from place to place to certify uh, the, uh, the uh, tissue culture material the laboratory particularly which were producing uh, uh, largely banana those days and it's now uh, you know more than 20 year old story uh, so uh, and then subsequently of course uh, the other tissue culture happening uh, you know also uh, you know the laboratories which are doing uh, virus indexing the referral labs uh, and also uh, the, uh, the uh, other labs uh, which were producing uh, you know particularly the, they are called accredited test labs uh, you know those days i believe they are still there and uh, continuing uh, so the referral labs and accredited test labs and going there and uh, you know seeing their activity and quality uh, of the labs and the way they are working the log books and then the facilities the the infrastructure and uh, all that you know providing reports to suklaji and then bcil to see whether to really accredit them or not so those are the days and in fact the dna work which were being carried out those days uh, you know uh, many of the labs you know hyderabad or elsewhere we used to visit and then see how they are doing so my association has been quite satisfying and when i look back i did uh, you know uh, in the the, the the whole uh, you know activity of bcil and supporting and promoting quality planting material production uh, you know through all these uh, the uh, the certification uh, indexing uh, you know fidelity testing and all that has actually uh, promoted uh, you know this technology and technology has gone to field and it has boosted uh, the production in the process you know there has to be impact assessment how this technology to what extent it has contributed you know one can say in terms of million planting material coming out from these labs that is one way of assessing but i think more than that it would be worthwhile to see uh, what is the extent of uh, uh, value gross value it has generated and uh, what is the extent of contribution to socio economy of the farmers uh you know uh, in what way it has actually improved their income and uh, in fact uh, the societal benefits often we don't take into account so probably it would be worthwhile uh, dr punima uh, to actually engage with a, another uh, you know third party rather uh, to uh, look at it might have already done to certain extent i do not know 
uh, so I don't have the report, but uh, I, I, I may be ignorant about it. But if it is not there, probably it would be worthwhile uh, to have elaborate analysis that what extent this program has uh, been able to really uh, uh, facilitate uh, and uh, contribute to this uh, uh, revolution uh, based on tissue culture derived plants uh, in the country. Uh, of course, uh, when we say that uh, we have to have quality uh, planting material, uh, quality uh, tissue culture derived plants and planting materials, obviously uh, the uh, stock culture is so important. Uh, you know, Grand Nain is a beautiful example of a banana uh, that we got from outside. We used to maintain the quality and uh, whatever required, again, keep getting. And so also in case of apple, uh, you know, rootstocks, uh, keep getting from outside. So maintaining quality uh, stock uh, and the cultures, uh, disease-free material, uh, and uh, you know, uh, also uh, you know, uh, promote propagating them uh, through the standardized procedure of microculture uh, uh, multiplication. Uh, so that's very, very important. And I'm sure, uh, you know, this has caught the imagination of the private sector. They are there very much, but I believe that, uh, you know, uh, our own local uh, material and addressing the issues there, recalcitrance uh, of some of these local genotypes to tissue culture per se, uh, so obviously uh, puts a limitation. So standardization of tissue culture regeneration process, whether shoot tip and shoot tip is easier, but other tissue culture systems, you know, it's not really easy. So I believe that uh, more and more uh, standardization of a uh, procedure, uh, tissue methods with regard to our local, uh, you know, genotypes, uh, not only in a banana and in others is very, very important. So, so, so banana, Dr. Sukla presented different local types, Rastali, for instance, and Puban, for instance, there are a large number and they are preferred differently at different locations. And obviously uh, creating disease-free planting material uh, is the key to success, to have uh, you know, a higher income for the farmers, to have exportable quality uh, produce. Uh, and uh, the whole world is afraid of transmission of diseases and insects uh, through uh, the, uh, these uh, products. And if we can have disease pre planting material and keep the plant, uh, you know, uh, uh, subsequently during the season free of uh, diseases and insects, and obviously, and have traceability established. And blockchain technology is now being employed to have that traceability. So, traceability starting from the, uh, you know, quality stock culture, and uh, from there, and the producing sufficient uh, quantity of propagated plants uh, and then tissue culture derived plants and then taking through uh, appropriate uh, production system and maintaining quality and uh, safe produce, produce uh, you know then taking to the market and the blockchain certainly helps and i believe that uh, the whole process can be again streamlined uh, to promote export banana is now being exported we developed a c root protocol and it is now packaged properly and being exported. So, so it's exported to Italy, like the European Union is very conscious of the quality. And I believe that when we actually uh, tag all these uh, you know, kind of segmented activities together through blockchain and then have traceability established, we should be able to really uh, promote uh, tissue culture, uh, you know, uh, uh, micropropagation uh, of uh, quality uh, uh, material uh, particularly uh, in case of uh, uh, banana and uh, also in case of uh, uh, pomegranate. Uh, and uh, why not? In case of apple, we get so much of, uh, uh, you know, a rootstock uh, from outside countries. Planting material, so much we are getting from outside countries. So uh, we can easily uh, identify this and, and then go for uh, grafting. And uh, you know, once we have uh, sufficient, uh, you know, rootstocks uh, micropropagated and quality rootstocks resistant to, or, uh, you know, stubborn diseases and uh, tolerant to abiotic stresses like drought and salinity and so on and so forth, 
and which can also, it is known rootstock and influence the yield and quality. So knowing all that, the best quality rootstock in case of apple can be actually multiplied. And uh, if we have quality stock cultures maintained, and this initiative certainly would be uh, quite rewarding as we go along. And it's not just, uh, you know, in case of banana, apple, and pomegranate. Uh, in fact, in case of pomegranate, uh, the, uh, you know, uh, bacterial blight is a serious threat. Uh, in fact, uh, you know, many of the gardens are, uh, you know, uh, uh, completely, uh, you know, uh, demolished, uh, being demolished because of uh, this, uh, you know, problem of disease uh, caused by Xanthomonas. Uh, and similarly, there are other problems. And uh, starting with, if we do not have uh, disease free planting material, uh, will not be able to actually uh, have a successful, uh, you know, uh, pomegranate production. So quality uh, pomegranate production would depend upon uh, the quality planting material with regard to this. And uh, obviously, this area joint irrigation is already producing. We have licensed the technology to six different companies, and I'm sure, uh, you know, production of uh, planting material with regard to pomegranate to bring another revolution. Uh, it has increased very significantly. We have increased our export, and there is plenty of opportunity to actually, you know, have, uh, you know, further work in this direction. Uh, you know, date palm is another successful example, and date palm, another agriculture in which is standardized. Now it has been given to, uh, 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 you know, some of the uh, public system in Gujarat, uh, and also the private companies. The, the sufficient uh, material is not being produced as yet. And, uh, you know, uh, uh, but then in case of sugarcane, uh, we are able to again produce a huge quantity of uh, planting material. So all this suggests that see, the, the, there is, uh, uh, you know, uh, a great need uh, to, uh, you know, uh, systematize uh, our quality stock culture production and maintenance and uh, a large scale uh, maintenance and any uh, you know of production of quality stock culture uh, would would success uh, would certainly uh, help this uh, whole activity. Uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, I was talking about uh, you know uh, date palm, but then we have now great need of oil palm. More than eleven thousand crores government has earmarked for production of uh, planting material included. Uh, for oil palm. So they are all being imported. So what kind of material is being imported? And uh, we do not know if we know uh, the uh, material which uh, performs well, the genotype which performs well, the hybrid which performs well in India, one need to really produce sufficient quantity of planting material with regard to oil palm. If we get something from outside, the power here, and there are some examples in Andhra Pradesh, then you end up in problem actually. So, uh, in oil palm, there is a great need to actually uh, identify uh, the uh, best quality stock, best quality parental line, uh, which is performing uh, very well, giving five to six tons at least uh, oil under our conditions, under best management conditions in India, and then getting sufficient planting material from that for uh, large scale use in the country. And uh, we have, uh, you know, uh, more than six lakh hectares. Uh, to actually plant this huge quantity of material is required. So similarly, there are other needs and I cannot go on talking about just like that. <laughs> so uh, time is also over for me and I'm sure uh, this uh, BCIL stock culture program uh, would not only help India, but also uh, anyone in uh, Asia and Africa, certainly Asia and Africa, many other countries, uh, they need this. Once we have the technology, once we have these uh, SOPs, once we have the standard, uh, you know, uh, for each uh, quality standard available for each one of them, uh, certainly we should be able to provide uh, and guide other countries. And uh, you have done this work with Apari, uh, documenting the success of banana tissue culture in India. And uh, Apari objective is taking success from one country and giving that to other countries so that you know, other countries also follow the same procedure and succeed. And I'm sure, you know, uh, as we go along, industries, uh, the partnership with the industry would increase, the public-private partnership would flourish, 
and uh, you know their activity would be strengthened without quality stock culture uh, there cannot be large scale micro propagation or production of the planting material so industry would be greatly facilitated and they would be promoted if we have such programs here i am sure industry can also invest the small industry may not be industries like joint irrigation system and there are many others global level who are working i'll not go into those but we can uh, still you know uh, involve with them engage with them and then see that we together succeed the public system department of biotechnology has been at the forefront of supporting this program funding this program we would be extremely happy to partner in all we have been partnering and our labs have been partnering in certification in indexing virus indexing and also in uh, fidelity testing and so on and so forth and we can continuing doing that and then uh, you know provide industry greater opportunities to flourish and i believe that it will be a win win situation and we can also support global community and industry at the global scale i wish the program a grand success and i hope the webinar will provide new pathways for us to actually work and implement those recommendations which would be coming out from this deliberation and thank you very much for inviting me to be part of this particular program thanks dr purnima sharma thanks dr gurmurthy for being here and thanks dr vidya and dr shukla for insisting that i should be here thank you and my time is over i have to attend another program and thank you very much wish you all the very best thank you from thank the core so of much, heart sir. sir thank you for being so part much. of this you know launching ceremony and very very grateful to you for this very informative and enlightening uh, talk about uh, the state of the art what we have achieved and the way forward and the potential that agriculture offers for our country so very very enlightening very informative thank you very much sir. we need your thank guidance you very and much. support if you allow i will take leave thank you sir thank, thank you, you so much sir yeah. Thank you so Thanks much for your kind words, everybody. Thank you very much. I take leave. All the best. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much, sir. Uh, Nupur, oh. you can invite uh, Dr. Patel. Now he is here. Yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, I now request Dr. Navin Kumar Patel, additional commissioner of horticulture, Ministry of Agriculture, to give. A special address on necessity of indigenous banana stock culture for tissue culture industry. Over to you, sir. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, okay. uh, the webinar, especially, is being conducted on significance of indigenous quality stock culture for agriculture industry. And of course, I am talking. I will be talking about the horticulture industry. Uh, in today's program, Dr. Purnima Sharma, Managing Director, uh, BCIL. Dr. Shivkant Sukla and uh, the our chief guest, Dr. Tulachan Mahapatra sir, Secretary Deer, and other dignitaries in the this program. Uh, I got late because I have some other urgent work, so sorry for that. So now uh, I think I'm uh, attending this uh, webinar series uh, second time, uh, being hosted by Dr. Shivkant Sukla. So. I would like to thank Dr. Shivkan Sukla and his team for inviting me, inviting me in this program. In fact, we are talking about the quality stock culture in horticulture field, especially from uh, during last six months, we have around our meetings on, on, on this aspect in Ministry of Agriculture, especially for those plants which are high in demand. Uh, among them, apple, walnut, uh, then date palm. Other than this one, some exotic crops also like uh, uh, kiwi. You know, whenever we talk about the tissue culture industries in horticulture field, there is only one picture which is which is emerging. That is the banana crop only, banana. Then somebody is talking about the strawberry crops, and uh, especially in banana, then variety like G9 and some other tissue culture material that has been developed in the country and, uh, and uh, spread in the country in the form of area expansion in different parts of the uh, country. Of course, productivity is higher and uh, 
people are getting advantage from that uh, variety and uh, again the all commercial production of banana is based on g9 variety uh, developed through tissue culture technology other than this one strawberry crop that is uh, one of the crop which is being which has been commercialized for uh, production in different parts of the country including maharashtra and other southern part other than this one we have some more crops which have been uh, especially flowers also which tissue culture technology has been developed and uh, commercialized but meantime we have we have our own material which is having significant value in terms of quality and in terms of their nutritive value in terms of their nutritive value i am highlighting this point because <clears throat> uh, for example banana in different regions especially in southern part and also in uh, northern part of the country we have locum term plus a banana and uh, it is very much liked by the people and also uh, there is a good market value of those varieties but important is uh, we have not promoted those local journalism i mean local collection through tissue culture technology and the ultimate aim of technology is to develop the disease free plants to develop the quality plants for for further for further uh, expansion in the field uh, whenever we discuss with any universities any students involved in planting material production and if you ask about these varieties this local collection whether they have developed any tissue culture plants so you will find very few people who is working on uh, these aspect of course uh, some is organization they are working but again at commercial point of view again there is a shortage of these local uh, collection whether it is banana or other crops so now time has come to work on these aspects for commercialization of these local uh, collection and also to enhance the farmers income by by promoting uh, in uh, domestic as well as in uh, export market here i would like to mention few points about the status of horticulture in the field uh, as as of now we have around 333 a million metric ton production of horticulture crops including fruits vegetable spices plantation crops if you compare the productivity of our horticulture crops last last 8 to 10 years if you compare the productivity there is there is very few i mean uh, 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 the the growth in productivity point of view it is very less very less area expansion is there production is also there almost if you compare with uh, 2004 5 and now uh, even from 14 15 and as a, as of now the production is uh, uh, production has increased i i think it is uh, we already doubled the production but as far as the productivity is concerned almost it is uh, we are very much behind the, from the other countries so what is the reason reason is of course the quality planting material uh, in case of apple if you talk about the other countries they have the the productivity of those countries and that is around 40 to 50 uh, metric ton per hectare but in case of our country it is around 8 to 10 uh, metric ton per hectare so this is the gap in productivity in case of apple not only in apple other crops also so and it is directly related with the quality uh, planting material in the, in this direction we have scheme we have government support also under uh, through mission for integrated development of horticulture we are giving support for establishment of model nurseries where uh, where the farmers or any individual they can establish the nurseries model nurseries using uh, protected structures good mother block and also for some irrigation components that is required in nursery other than this one uh, under mdh tissue culture lab laboratories have been also uh, have been established in various states but again the majority is on banana crop only majority of the people are working on uh, banana crop and some are working on strawberries and uh, 
uh, of course on flower crops also but majority is on uh, banana crop so why uh, why we have switched to the g9 only because uh, that time you are thinking this is a good variety and uh, it will get the good market price also of course but uh, similarly we have local collection that can also get the good price because the adoption in uh, market definitely people are looking towards our own collection which is having a nutritive value and also having potential in organic uh, uh, market so from that point we have to think on in this direction through midh definitely we have established many nurseries in various states and the accreditation of nurseries also being done by nhb and other agencies uh, uh, for a good planting material but again the the importance of mother blocks now i'll give the example of apple earlier we are doing uh, we are developing the seedling uh, root stock for for uh, multiplication of apple plants then after that the concept of clonal root stock has been realized because the the importance of root stock is equally uh, i mean Uh, if you talk about the cyan parts or budwood bank, there is importance of those part, but equally for root stock also there is importance in multiplication. So now, now we have switched over to clonal root stock to improve the productivity of apple plants in the country. I already uh, uh, told you about the productivity of apple in our country. So uh, states like uh, Himachal Pradesh, Uttarakhand, Jammu Kashmir. now they are switching over to clonal root stock but for developing quality plants in apple i mean the productivity point of view and also the liking by the consumers in market you know in apple industry what is happening after every after every 4 to 5 years some new variety is coming even even from other countries the apple is coming Uh, looking uh, the shape wise or color wise it is very att attractive and the consumers they att they attract towards those varieties and uh, and uh, uh, then uh, definitely we think these varieties are looking good very attractive definitely it will be uh, equally uh, important from nutritional point of view but again very important is now we have to develop our own uh, mother blocks especially for budwood bank and root stock block i mean clonal root stock block uh, earlier we have discussed with dr shukla uh, some people are working on tissue culture technology to develop the clonal root stock and apple so these are the steps which are very much required in the country to develop our own apple industry even the apple farmers some association they are asking for the good clonal stock in the country so that they can multiply the things they can multiply the plants uh, with the help of this root stock so this is one of the point which is very important point and if any and people are also importing every month we see people are importing around 1 to 1.5 lakh apple plants in the country we have uh, i am the member of exim committee looking after the ex export and import of planting material when i see the requirement of uh, i mean the supply of planting uh, material especially the uh, some new varieties Or, or or you can say some uh, uh, some root stock also even in case of apple root stock also people are importing and uh, they are uh, they are selling to the other uh, farmers or individual also in case of blueberries also people are importing uh, other than this one now avocado again we have some own collection in avocado we have our own collection in kiwi uh, uh, of course kiwi has uh, that crop has come from other country but even if in now if you go to north eastern region we have our own collection but thing is that you have to work on their own collection for multiplication of things especially through tissue culture technology so this is the scenario in the country uh, in nut shell i would say we this uh, with the help of tissue culture technology for promoting uh, our, for commercialization of these fruit crops now time has come to promote such entrep uh, entrepreneurs who can develop uh, these varieties uh, at our level at our country so that we can we can uh, we can distribute or we can sell or we can get the availability uh, of these plants to the farmers then another important is very important point we are discussing nowadays that is the 
clean plant development clean plant development means again the plant whatever planting material is they are coming from other countries also we have to promote the clean plant i mean clean means from disease resistant point of view uh, by this way or by this material any disease should not come and it should not go to the field we have noticed some problems in uh, some in apple area because some varieties are there and some infection is there uh, with, with through some other material coming from other country so such kind of scenario is there we have to avoid those conditions because uh, because the once this uh, disease spreads in any area then uh, it is very difficult to control uh, in a short period of time so this is the my concern for the people who are involved in multiplication of the planting material especially in case of uh, fruit plants and uh, if you talk about the uh, other crops like uh, spices again we have a uh, good collection of spices especially for large cardamom small cardamom and black pepper these are the these are the plants uh, i mean uh, these are the spices crops which are being uh, which, which are being focused and promoted in the country uh, from export point of view because we have the good export potential for these crops and thing is that instead of going through seed or going through i mean uh, through seedling plantation we have to concentrate on good planting material uh, through uh, through tc consult technology so with these words i would like to thank uh, uh, especially uh, managing director uh, bcil dr shukan sukla and other dignitaries of this program uh, for inviting me Uh, in this program, and I hope uh, this program will be fruitful for the participants. Who uh, they can understand the importance of this technology. They can understand the importance of indigenous quality drug uh, culture uh, for promotion of our horticultural industries in the country. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, sir, for sharing your views. We have been highlighted by, uh, about the importance of crop culture. Thank you so much, sir. I now request Dr. Shivkant Shukla, DGM BCIL, to propose a vote of thanks. Over to you, sir. Thank you, Nupur. A great applause to the audience. It is great. It is indeed a great response from all the participants. At the outset, I'd like to express our gratitude to our chief guest, Dr. T. Mahapatra, Secretary Dayer in the DGICR. We are grateful to Dr. Noin Patle, Additional Commissioner, Horticulture, for his kind words. Dr. K. Guru Murthy, Dr. Vidya Gupta, ma'am, they are part of our this great initiative, and we have been always benefited with your kind guidance, support, motivation, blessing, all the time. So we look forward for a continued guidance, support to make this possible, because this is a great task, and we need to. Succeed to support industry as well farmer, so that is our mission at BCIL. Uh, other committee member, Dr. B P Singh, our industry partner, we are highly grateful to them. Dr. K T Ranga Swami, he has kindly agreed to be part of this initiative. We are grateful to Dr. Pune Masarma, ma'am, M D B C I L, for kindly agreeing to be. to make this as a bcl business activity vertical otherwise at, at our level it was difficult to take this such great initiative along with our management senior management dr vipa gupta cgm bcil our chair person dr bp kambos sir they are always supporting in this such initiative the response is highly encouraging and we hope that we will continue to get this response from industry already i can see the chat box they are asking about the how to get those material how to get the quality culture so definitely i will come back to each company one to one on that aspect uh, last but not the least i'd like to thank my colleague mr nupur choudhary mr vinit chhabra ji mr suyas mr sardendu and all the team member for working uh, for making this program successful and even in this long weekend when other people are must be enjoying their holiday long weekend they are working to make this webinar successful so once again thank you one and all thank you so much
Thank you, Doctor. Thanks, everyone. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. So, with this, your permission, ma'am, uh, sir, can we close this session now? Thank you, Poonima ji. Thank, thank you, you Shukla ji. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you, and Doctor Vidya Gupta. Thank you so much. Very much. Now the real program begins. Yes. yes. And uh, since already we exceeded timelines, so we are not taking query. We'll address yes. all the queries what we see in the chat box. Yes. Thank you so much. My suggestion is, if possible, you arrange one with industries. We'll do that, sir. Interaction with industries. We'll do it shortly, sir. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks. I will leave now. Yes. So we are leaving now. Yes. Thank you. So, Dr. Shukla, can we leave now? Okay, we are now closing yes, it. Thank you so much. We are concluding now. Yes. Sure, ma'am. I hereby declare this webinar to be now concluded. I thank all the participants for joining us today. As Dr. Shukla mentioned, the response has been amazing, especially the participants from the industry for gracing, for gracing us with their presence for this webinar. Have a great day, everyone. Thank and we have joining. we had international members also. Yes. More than Indian. 20 countries, ma'am. Yeah. From Asia yeah. Pacific, African countries. And uh, yeah. we are hoping that we'll come continue working with this international partner as well. And yeah. uh, those who are joined in the beginning, still they are listening us. Yes. Uh, they they are so, still remain joined with us. So now we, yeah, are we, we need to this. find out what are their requirements also, Dr. Shukla. Sure, ma'am. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you, everyone. Have a great day.